How to practice guitar. So, the more you practice something, the better you're supposed to get, or at least in theory. We all know, the more you practice something, the better you're supposed to get. But a lot of guys that I meet on Grindr... They, uh, they come to me and they say, you know, I'm practicing, but I'm not getting any better. I've been stuck at the same level. So I'm going to tell you what I do, how I practice. It's mostly going to be advice today, and uh, we'll see if we can break through. And this applies to anything. So anything in your life, um, you will often meet guitar players who are like just... seem to be really skilled at life or whatever. It's probably just because they've got their fucking shit sorted out. Okay, so let's go. Focus and keep your eyes peeled. Eyes peeled? Eyes peeled. Eyes peeled. Eyes peeled. Eyes peeled. Oh my god, I can't see you have to guide me to the toilet. Hi, I'm Alex5000, and I identify as a cactus now. Oh, that's fucking stupid, isn't it? <laughs> Hi, I'm the real Alex. <laughs> Hi, I'm the real Alex5000, and this is a beer. I identify as a beer! And uh, today I'm going to give you some tips on how to practice guitar. Fucking hell, do you? I'm filming, you dickhead. All right. Let's go. Okay, so the first bit of advice is take everything really, really slowly, yeah? Every person I've ever met, even when I say play slowly, they're still trying to play it ten times too fucking fast. Whatever it is you're doing, break it down to a ridiculously slow level, okay? Never try and rush anything, because if you're playing something shit and then you speed it up, you've just got fast shit, alright? Copyright Alex5000, fast shit. <laughs> And what I find is, um, once I learn something, learn to play it properly, even really slow, I can probably double the speed, right? So you don't have to worry that if you're only playing something slow that you have to take it up in like one BPM increments. You'll probably find you'll be able to go to warp speed. <laughs> Uh, but just make sure you can play whatever you're playing really, really slow. And I will show you how fucking slow I play, and how fast I can play, but how slow I play, right? You gotta be accurate, motherfuckers. <laughs> so advice number one is uh, take everything slowly. Right? So here's an example. I want to do a Racer X album cover and I've been learning this pattern. And that's about as fast as I want to go with it, right? I can play it faster. But, I play it slower. I'm being very careful to make sure every note is the correct amount of time. I'm not speeding up or slowing down like this, you know. 
or doing anything weird, everything's the same speed. These two hands are talking to each other, everything's great, yeah? And you'll probably find, even if you just do that for an hour, you're going to be able to play it considerably faster, yeah? And then after a couple of weeks or whatever, you're going to be taking the piss. And uh, if you can't shred, that same theory applies to chords. So I use big, rich chords like this. Yeah, and when you see me do my Van Halen, I'm doing a lot of this. Very unusual. But even me, when I first started doing this chord, I was like, okay, it sounds nicer down here. This! Took me a fucking week to nail, right? So you just play everything really slow, really clean. Even if you feel like you're not making any progress, you've just got to make sure everything's clean, so... And eventually your fingers are going to start learning the shapes, you're going to be building muscle, you're going to be a lot more comfortable. But always go slow! <laughs> Fucking hit my neck. Look at that fat fuck. Oh fuck! Next bit of a Musica para las putas Tiene 400 pesetas para mi putas Si quieres joder, tu vas a pagar Número 2 S Always play clean So uh, you might have acoustic guitars all around the house like me Where you're writing songs, you're shredding away um, But I mean, play on the fucking clean channel There's uh, there's enough guys who try and mask their playing with distortion or wah wah <laughs> and uh, that does nothing for you. Um, you need to play on the clean channel. Or do what I do. Have no fucking amp, no cables, no nothing. Just a guitar. I'm on the sofa and I'm just strumming away. <laughs> So that's it. Always play clean and always play slow. Second bit of advice is play on the clean channel, right? So when you're on the clean channel, you've got nowhere to hide. Um, when you use the distortion channel, it tends to muffle everything. That's why guys like Kurt Hammett and uh, Marcio Monty, they get shit for using the wah wah all the time because it muffles your playing. So if you're on the clean channel, <laughs> You can hear everything nice and clean. And then if you if you really feel like it later on, then you can add the distortion. But obviously you'd be playing something that isn't fucking shit like that. Now the majority of my practicing is super clean, and by that I mean I'll be on the sofa in a room where there's no amp, no wires, I'll just have my guitar and I'll just be, you know... So I'll just be on the sofa chilling out.
And uh, that's how I get my most progress, because I'm just really juicing every note, you know? And then when you fucking add the distortion, it'll sound even more badass. <laughs> playing clean and you're playing slow but how'd you get yourself over that fucking hump yeah you've been stuck in the same place forever well you need some drive and I understand that not everyone has that killer instinct but it is something you can develop um, and you do that by having goals so even if you're just able to play like Oasis or fucking Bowling for Soup or some simple shit you take that one song you know and then you put another song next to it Learn the fucking album. Learn an album by a guy that you love, or a woman, or whatever. Or a person of no gender. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just build upon what you know. Give yourself a date, say look, in two weeks, I'm going to learn this whole Prince album, this Oasis album, Steve Vai album, whatever it is. Even if it's really, really simple, uh, do it. And I promise you, you will learn something and uh, more importantly, you'll get that sense of satisfaction, like you've, you've earned something, you know? You've really worked on something, so you need goals. And uh, once you develop that little bit of a taste for, for more, you'll start building upon yourself. So I've done it this year. I did Steve I album covers, fucking all sorts of shit. And uh, before I did it, I thought, is this impossible? This is, this is fucking ridiculous. And now I look back and I think it's the easiest fucking thing ever. Um, just triggered everyone, dislike and unsubscribed. But uh, yeah. You need goals. Goal! Okay, practicing with the metronome. Um, it is extremely effective for some people and completely ineffective for others. Um, if you play with the metronome, you will be more in time. You will develop a, you know, a more of a feel for time. However, it can take your feel away. You've got to be really careful with the metronome playing. Um, build up your speed, brilliant. But at the same time, you've got to accent the notes and still remember to enjoy what you're doing. You've almost got to, you've got to like listen to the beat and, and also not listen to it so you don't just become a fucking robot playing through loads of scales. So metronome training is good. I've had extremely good effects with it. However, the majority of the stuff I've learned has been from... Just fucking shredding and enjoying myself. Um, so, do metronome training, but take it with a fucking pinch of salt. So should you take lessons? Should you be classically trained or be self-taught? Okay, here's my advice. If you want to be a fucking, uh, you know, full of spunk young dude, I want to take over the world and show the world how big my fucking dick is and write my own shit, then teach yourself. If you want to learn really fast, then take lessons. It's a double-edged sword, so... Um, chances are, if you're on your own, it's going to take you longer to learn stuff. Um, you're going to be getting misinformation and trying to find yourself and all this stuff. However... <laughs> In the long run, you'll be able to develop your own style, write your own songs and all that stuff. Um, if you take lessons with a good teacher, they will show you exactly what you need to do to get to where you're going to, right? <laughs> However, it's going to be harder to develop your own style, and it is going to be harder to develop feel, okay? And before you all get triggered, I've had both. So when I was a kid, I had some classical training, uh, I did a couple of grades. Uh, with a classical teacher, played in orchestras and all that shit, and then I fucking turned into this freak that I am now, and I left all that. And I would say everything beneficial that I've learned, the creative stuff, came from being on my own. However, the discipline and understanding that I need to practice and work on myself came from the classical stuff. All right.
So congratulations! Now you know how to practice guitar. Because apparently during the G3 in Denver show, Joe Sacciani was fucking pissed the whole time. And uh, I don't blame him. I mean, I would if I had that fucking haircut. Jesus. If I had that haircut, I'd be getting it fucking circumcised.